You won't believe how crazy good this auto blogger is. It's based on AI and it's called Generalist AI. I haven't seen another auto AI writer that gives you so many options to write professional blogs. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. What's up everyone? So let me show you Generalist AI. And one of the key features that I see is the amount of options that you're going to get to create your blogs. I haven't seen so many options in other type of AI writers than this one, which will in return provide you better quality content with this AI writer. So if you want to test it out, the link we provided in the description, and you can test out three free articles before actually jumping into a plan. Now, this is my journalist AI and I've already connected. Now, all you have to do to connect is go to integrations and you're going to find that you can connect to several types of sites. So you can connect to WordPress type, Shopify, Ghost, Wix, Webflow, Blogger, Zapier, and external API. So basically anything, because if you have something external like a PHP site, well, just connect it through Zapier or API. So there's no limitations into what you can connect to. Now, you can get started by creating independent articles or you can do auto blogs. Now, let me get started with this one because auto blog is similar. The difference is that you can set the time and the amount of blogs that you want to create in that time frame. Okay, so let's get started with this, this one. So basically, you can create based on titles, keywords, descriptions, or a keyword monitor. You can set that to dynamic. In this case, I'm going to set it to titles and you can add one here per line, which is pretty straightforward. So if you already have ideas or you want to generate these titles, just go ahead and add them right here. So let me go ahead and add something really quickly here. OK, so I've just wrote two titles right here just for testing purposes, and I'm kind of obsessed right now with coffee. So these are my questions right now. So the difference between Colombian and Mexican coffee and the other one is how can I know if a quality bean is good when it's green? OK, and then the next option is going to be the content. So the language, you can have all these languages available, so practically all of them target country, which is important because if you want to connect to the web for the content that it's going to write, then you need to target the country. Creativity, so you want to go correct factual, don't wing it out there, just go ahead and factual or in between or just be creative and original, which depending on the type of content that you're going to write, you decide how much creative and how much factual you want, right? The tone of voice, you can set it right here. So funny, informal, academic or just whatever you want to write there. For example, really energetic. OK, and then the point of view automatic. Now, I love this option. I don't know why other AI writers don't have something like this. They always try. They're always talking about we, us, everyone. And maybe I just want to be first person, me, I, mine, etc. So in this case, I'm going to use first person, but you can use all these options. Like I said, it's a great option. That they have that there. Formality, automatic or informal. We'll keep it automatic. Custom instructions. So if you want to set something there that is out of the ordinary writing there, so for example, it could be a different type of style. So maybe I'm a surfer and I wanted to talk in the custom instructions based on surfer person, um, whatever, right? Just it's, you can be creative here. Include exact words. So if you have some keywords here that you want to add here, for example, Arabica, which is a type of bean. And I don't know, for example, Chemex, which is a type of brewing method, V60 brewer. OK, and we want to include those, which are kind of not so common. So added them there would be interesting. And then we have the knowledge. Do you want to enable connect to the web, which is, of course, you want that because it's going to extend the output of your blog based on this knowledge base. Do you want add? Do you want to create knowledge base? So if you have connected a knowledge base already, you can decide which one you want to use. So, for example, I'll use this one, which I connected my coffee bean site to it. It's just a small site. It has a landing page. But it's pretty cool that we can connect different type of sources to generate our content, which is in return going to create more creative content that is going to be more original. Then we have formatting. You want to enable bold, italics, tables, quotes, and you can enable or disable these. It's pretty awesome what you're going to get with the output. Then you have the structure. So call to action. So we want to add H3 to the article. You can set it right here with the website. Key takeaways, conclusions, frequently asked questions. The article size, do you want to go small, medium or large? It could be an extra credit if you use large. We'll keep it medium, which is still pretty long because I'll show you an example. Automatic headings. Yes, auto generated. Internal linking. Do you want to internal link, which is going to help you rank your internal site because it's going to link one with another. You can go ahead and set that up. Next, we have external linking. Again, you can external links with this. You can include or exclude internal link sources with this images. So you can provide organic images based on a Bing search engine, or you can use Unsplash, custom images, or use AI for this. 
We're going to keep it original from Bing because they have a super big library that we can use. The image prompt, if you want to set it up, enable images in article images. Yes, we want images inside of the article. And then we want video. Do you want it to find the video that's relevant and add it to your article? And yes, let's do it. And then how many articles do we want to write? In this case, let's do do. Let's go ahead and generate. And it's going to start doing its AI magic. So it's going to start. And it's going to take a few minutes for this to generate. And we're going to view it here before we actually post it on a live site. There we go. We just got our first article. Remember, it was the difference between Colombian and Mexican coffee. We got the table of contents, takeaways, dive into world of Colombian coffee. So the culture, the unique harvesting, embracing tradition, flavor profile, exploring the richness of Mexican coffee. Check this out. This was a medium sized blog and see how long this is. It's pretty good. We got the video inside of here. We got some images in between and a lot of information based on this. Check this out. I think it's pretty good that we get all this for that article, right? You got a conclusion here and frequently asked questions because we set all this to on. Now, remember, we can go ahead and remove takeaways, remove bold, italics, cross linking, etc. If we like, once you find out that the content is what you like, you can go ahead and set the website that you have connected here and then post to integration. So let's go ahead and do that right now. There we go. The article has been posted successfully and the second article is now ready. Okay, here's the second article. How can I know if a coffee bean is good quality when it's green? Okay, and then again, we have all this information available for this. Check this out. Temperature, humidity, oxygen, light, time. This is a pretty good blog if you ask me. And it could be interesting for someone who's looking for these type of blogs and information. So I think this is pretty good. Temperature control, humidity management, packaging. I, I, I like this. I like this. Okay. And again, you can go ahead and post it if you like. And you can like this article or dislike, obviously, to give feedback and obviously improve journalist AI in the future. So I'm going to post the first one, which should be available over here already. Go ahead and refresh. And here it is. Now, let me show you the past one that I've tested already. Best roles for a VIX 60 coffee method. Check this out. This is already written. Like I said, it's pretty long. It even gives you coffee grams and the water amount. So it gives us a table that's relevant to what I'm writing. And yes, this is correct. I've already checked this because I do have coffee knowledge. And check this out. All of this blog was written in the medium size. I mean, I wonder what the large is going to be. It's going to be like twice as long. So I think medium is the right fit for this. And here's the one that we've just created. Let's go ahead and view it. There we go. It's posted. Check that out. All the information here. Now, the reason it's to the left, because that's how the blog is created in this demo page that I'm using for this. Now, that's for the AI writer for this. You got your history here. You got all the articles have been written, so you can go ahead and view them from here, post them manually, etc. From here, you got your presets. So what we just set up in the articles, we can set up a preset. We don't have to define it each single time that we want to write a blog or do an auto blog. So in preset, I can name this, for example, test, test, and then everything that I have right here, content, knowledge, formatting, etc. set it the way I like it so I can use that preset when I generate my articles, which is a pretty good option. Then you have your knowledge base. Like I told you before, you can connect websites, PDFs, etc. to grab that knowledge for creating your blogs. So for example, create a knowledge base. Let me show you. Here's the test. And then I can add my article. So I can add a preset here. It can be plain text, PDF documents or website and or add plain text right here, which is pretty cool, right? Custom images. If you want to use custom images instead of the the Bing ones or the Unsplash, etc. And then we have the auto blocks for the auto blocks. I think it's pretty awesome. Basically, it's the same thing as generated articles, but we get started with the automation. So, for example, I'll say test. Test test. I can select a preset from here. So, for example, I'll just said one of the tests. Uh, here, here's the one I created quantity. I'll say one and it could be every day, week, month or every 12 hours or six hours. The integration. So it's going to be connected to my SAS semester site. The status, it could be active. So in this case, I'm going to set it to inactive just for testing purposes and create new auto blog. So it's pretty cool that we have these options to do this. And then we have the integrations, which I'll show you to connect the website indexers. So if you want to index here, you can do so index name connect with Google and it's going to auto index the blocks that you create. Okay. Publications. So view all the publications that were done. This is the two that I just tested. You can see it's published the keyword monitor. If you want to set that up to use for your article generation, social media automation, 
you can connect here your shares build links linked audits your settings and there's an affiliate program if you want to sign up for that so i love the way that journalist ai provides us all these options so we can generate the articles like i said before i haven't seen another ai writer that gives us so many options to create our blogs the idea of connecting to the web providing a knowledge base it's going to give us outputs that are pretty much i would say amazing because they're going to be original they're going to be with insightful information that someone's going to jump in read it and they're actually going to find it interesting because they're going to stick and actually read it instead of those random ai writers that are going to provide auto blogs that are kind of random out there and information is not that good this is going to actually keep the readers reading your blog so i definitely recommend that you check out journalist ai so jump into the link in the description and that's a wrap